A little while ago, we looked at basic floor framing on a square building with very little detail. This time, we're going to complicate the floor framing a little. We'll add two types of cantilever and an opening to the crawl space so the homeowners have a place to stash their holiday decorations. Let's begin with that bay window cantilever by stripping back some of the framing to make it clear what's happening. The floor joists basically extend past the mudsill to the depth of the cantilever, which is dictated by the depth of the floor joist, their spacing, and the load that the cantilevered floor must carry. It's a pretty simple system. Extend the joists, add the rim joist, and then cut a couple 45 degree wing rims to tie back to the house, and fill in the blocking. The other cantilever is a little more complicated, but we'll begin by stripping back some of the framing to get to the meat of the matter a hole in the floor. Rather than run both floor joists past each other, break this one in the middle of the beam so the other one can be doubled. But before doubling that joist, install the perpendicular joists and face nail them. Now you can double up that joist and make it into a header from which we can add joist hangers for the perpendicular joists. Similarly, the partial joists at the other end of the cantilever are hung from that last joist. Block between the joists and slap a rim on the outside, and you're ready for sheathing. Except, we didn't go over this other hole in the floor. If the opening's more than four feet wide, you need to double up the header and hang it from the joists. The other end of this opening sits atop the central beam, so there's not much we need to do other than step back and admire our work. 